Mackenzie Blazix, a 6'2", 6'3", post player, um, gives us some size and depth inside. Um, we got Sarah Schuin, she's a transfer from Quinnipiac, a grad transfer um, from a program that's won, been to Sweet 16s. Uh, she's coming off an injury, so we're looking forward to her as she gets full, full go. Uh, Carolyn Waleski is a, a walk-on from Illinois that is athletic and really helping us um, inside. And finally, Janiah Ephraim from North Carolina, who gives us some length, um, a defensive stopper, and is gaining confidence every day. I think the biggest thing from last year to this year is just, um, you know, we're in a different place. Uh, last year we were trying to develop our culture. Um, now I'm not teaching everybody everything. Um, the upperclassmen are helping uh, teach the new kids, and uh, the ener energy in the gym is just a whole lot different, and we're moving in a different direction that we're pretty excited about. If you actually look up in our offices, our back-to-back -back windows, um, I don't give signals or anything for them to come over, but what we've done is back and forth. We've walked over, talked. Uh, in fact, two days ago, we were talking about zone defenses. You know, it, it goes from zone defenses to recruiting. Um, obviously, his experience at Division One recruiting has been really helpful for me. And uh, so what I really like about the building is it's two, two programs but one goal. And when you sense that in a building and what we both want to accomplish, I think it creates a real positive atmosphere for Illinois basketball. Coach, when you go out on the recruiting trail, what's your sell to recruits? Winning. Uh, you know, I think the biggest thing right now is that, uh, you know, there's an opportunity here, a unique opportunity. I call, I'll call the kids right now that want to be at Illinois Brave. I want your know, brave kids because you want to change something and you want to make a difference, and we're building something special. Um, but there's going to be people out there that go to your history and, and want to use that. You know, and I'm, I actually tell kids right now when I recruit, I really don't even drive with my rear view mirror anymore. And I know that doesn't sound very safe, um, but my point is I can't look back anymore. We're not looking back, we're looking forward. And um, we want kids that want that. And that's what we're looking for. And I think um, that does take kids that want to, be, want to do something special. And that's what we're doing. Nick, is there anything that you discovered or learned about the Big Ten Conference and style of play and all that that you didn't see ahead of time? You know, is there anything that stands out to you about the Big Ten Conference? I think when you're watching Big Ten on TV and then you're standing on the court and watching them run out in front of you, there's a difference. Um, I think the thing that I, I noticed was, you know, the size and quickness. I mean, when you're sitting on the court and watching that, um, the speed of the game, the height of the game, uh, you know, I've watched plenty of Big Ten, I've been at games, but uh, I think that was the thing that we, we, I knew that we had to address. You know, it's just the quickness and the size and the athleticism. Um, I don't think I was shocked by it, but I think until you, you have to understand that, you know, um, you know, we have to recruit, we have to be at that level to compete there. You know, I, I, I've, I've done this for a long time, and even when my, my teams uh, were in a different situation where I was at, um, my goal is never to say, hey, win a national title. We, we wanted to we, when we did, uh, but I think you state that goal of, you know, our kids right now want to get in postseason. Uh, we just want to, we want, we don't want to be done after the end of the Big Ten. Uh, we want to play. And we've set that goal. If you see it, our kids talking, that's being written down in every one of their sheets. So, but the most day-to-day -day goal that we really have to teach, and what I always tell kids, is got to compete. We have to compete in the gym, we have to compete for spots, we have to compete against each other, but then we have to compete when those jerseys come out that are a different color than ours. If you, if you teach that competitive, competitive energy, I always think that the score starts taking care of itself. And um, that's what we're trying to instill. And now in the gym versus last year where I think we were trying to uh, get to understand each other, understand what I was talking about, understand what culture I was trying to develop, now we're not talking about that stuff. Now we're talking about competing and winning. Um, and when you see the kids write that stuff down, I, I don't think I saw that in last year's goal sheets. Okay, now, now we're starting to turn a corner where we're like, okay, um, because you have to have that final goal, but the competition is what we're trying to make sure that, that just that gritty competition level that I think wins ball games for your teams. Coach, can you talk about your returning, some of your returning players? Yeah, I mean, I think we're, we, we have a lot of returning. We, um, with, uh, you know, Alex Whitaker at the post position, she's a phenomenal player. I think she just makes plays. 
Um, and that's what's kind of, as a coach, you know, you can draw X's and O's, but when a kid just goes out and makes a play, and she's one of the more, uh, a kid that I don't sometimes want to touch too much because that turnaround fadeaway jumper, um, sometimes I want to be balanced, and I'm like, now nah, it goes in. Good. That's all I, I really care. The thing goes in. Uh, I think Brandy Beasley at the point guard, where last year, we were, I think I'm an old point guard, and a point guard, point guard relationship where we understand the tempo together. She's kind of made that next step. She's becoming our, our core presence. Um, and, and Cece uh, Rice, who last year was coming back off of a lot of injuries, her, she's in a great phenomenal shape right now. Um, just to name you know, a couple of the kids that I think have really uh, turned the corner, Allie Andrews. Um, I, I tell you, I'm gonna give a shout out to Kyler, our strength and conditioning coach. Our team has really taken steps forward in how we look, how fast we are, how lean we are in all aspects of our game. And I, I think that's really been a, a big plus for us. One player? You know, um, right now I think it's a collective shout out to them all. Um, because, you know, everybody knows last year was a tough year and that team could have folded, that team could have stopped. Um, they could have came back and say, you know, I don't know if I believe in you, coach. It was just the opposite. Um, these guys, you know, when they wear these Illinois uniforms, they're taking a lot of pride in us, and they want to be part of this change. And I think collectively right now, I'll give you, for instance, the day before we started, uh, the captains came up and they said they wanted to have a team meeting. You know, sometimes when coaches hear that, uh, you're like, da 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 something, you know, what's going on? It was just the opposite. They were trying to be proactive. They were in the locker room talking about, okay, how do we talk to each other on the court? How do we compete with each other? How do we um, uh, get to know each other any better? That's a pretty good sign when your kids are doing that without a coach doing it. And it wasn't when something was wrong. You know, team meetings are not fun when something's wrong. But when the kids are holding them because they want to be proactive, uh, I think that's a good sign of the chemistry and where we're heading. I think that every team, if you're not playing for your seniors in some respect, um, I think they are. I mean, Alex is, I mean, it's funny because everybody, we have such a list of teams we want to beat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's growing. Uh, and I know Alex has some games that's really, really important to her. But if you just hear the energy of them going, we want to play postseason. Uh, when your leaders are saying that, when your captains are saying that, and if you watched Alex play, uh, she plays with such heart. How could you not want to win some ball games? How could you not want um, to play postseason for those seniors. Uh, so, um, yeah, we have heart here, and those kids definitely feel that for their upperclassmen. Coach, where do you see the Big Ten, uh, you know, strength across the Big Ten? Is it improved from last year or is it going down or is it in a way to go? Well, last year there was nine or ten that went to postseason. Um, I was told when I got the job that they thought it was down. I went, uh, no, uh, just the opposite. <laughs> um, and I think that's a great thing for the Big Ten. You know, the more people that teams get in, that really is reflective of the competition. I don't think it's going anywhere but now up, excuse me, up. Um, and that's what we want. I want to play the best. I want to be in the best conference. Um, and so, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a really tough conference again. I hope we get nine or ten in, but I want to be one of them. Thank you.